Hey, it's Keir Anderson, and we're going to show you how to add products to your Shopify shopping cart system. Um, again, it's Keir with Digital Red Zone, and we're going to do this fast, as fast as possible, and show you just how easy it is to add, categorize, and uh, style the products you want in your shopping cart. So we're going to obviously log into our Shopify shopping cart system. We're going to go over to products on the left-hand side and it's going to load all the products that you have added. We're going to go to the upper right hand corner, there's a blue button that says add product. Okay, so now we need to enter the title description, add an image, put the pricing, shipping, and all that good stuff in for the product. Pretty simple. So a lot of times we'll have this in a spreadsheet, I'll actually cut and paste it, put it on a notepad just because for me it is easier um, it's easier to cut and paste for me. I'm, I'm not I'm not good at cutting and pasting sometimes out of a spreadsheet. All right, so we're going to enter the product title of this product, so blade shaft belt for a particular saw. And because it's a part that's coming off another product that's sold, we're going to add that title in here as well. Okay, so it's the Husqvarna Walk Behind Saw 20 inch maximum blade. Blade shaft belt for the FS25 saw. Okay. And, and then actually in this in this instance we can probably just do this. Well no, I'll keep it that way because that's how I cut the other ones cut. I'll come back and style it. Doesn't really matter for this example. Okay, so we got our title in there. We're going to take our description. Uh, in this instance, we're just going to put that in for the description, and we're going to put the part. And the part number. Just to help if somebody is searching for this particular part number. Okay, so here we go. And that is also down here, we're going to put that same number in for our, our SKU, as that's the part number. All right, so within this description here, you're going to be able to style it any way you can on a, on a Word doc. Uh, you can add images, you can add, uh, now these images would be within your product description, it kind of gets redundant, so you really don't usually do that. But you can add links to other things if you want to, um, just anything you want to do. You can add in some HTML code if you want as well. Anything you can do pretty much on any online uh, web ed editor here, you can do here. So it's pretty uh, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, so we want to make sure we add our image. This is a part off a particular saw. We're going to have the saw in there. There we go. We can add other images for other variation. You know, so you have your, your big image, your little image. Uh, so that if you have multiple images, you can put them all in there. Okay. You can delete an image by hovering over it. It'll turn dark gray, hit delete, and delete. In this case, we're just going to put the one image. Uh, this alt tag here. All right, so this is what shows the search engines what the image is. So we're going to put the uh, part number. And that might be a little long. I'll come back and fix that. For demonstration purposes, you can see what the alt tag's about. You're going to put what it is. So, put the part number and the product that's in there. So, done. Okay. Got our image. Got our alt tag for the search engines. The next thing we're going to do is probably one of the most important things is putting in the price. All right. So, in this case, we got a much and a vote. It is $63. $63. There you go. Compare at price, which is... A really cool feature um, you you have this used against you every day all the time so in any sales they want to anchor you and all they're doing is showing perceived value so if you see this particular product sold somewhere for 200 bucks you're selling it at 63 you can put compare at price $200 uh, and that's just simply anchoring it's used in sales all the time to get people to buy um, the next thing you want to look at is charge taxes on this product if you're charging sales tax you're gonna have that checked and you'll have that all set up within your shopping Shopify system um, you've got your inventory number if you got a barcode or any of these uh, UPC codes you'll put that in here 
if you're not tracking the inventory, if you're going to have inventory tracking, uh, in this case we're not tracking the inventory, uh, you're going to put your weight in there. And then what that'll do is, so it's 100 pounds, that's what it's going to show the shipping, for the shipping costs. Um, did you get the shipping costs right? Um, fulfillment service, in this case it's just manual. So the order comes through, it gets sent to the fulfillment center of the company. They get the order, they do whatever they do with it, whether they email it to somebody, print it off, however they do that all. Uh, if it requires shipping or not, you want to have that checked. In this case it does, so we're going to have that checked. If you want to add a variant, so if you wanted to say that this particular model has a blue version, you put in the model, and you put blue, and then you would put the model in, and say they had a green version, you would put that in as well. And what that will create are some... Uh, areas down below so you can put in the different prices for the different whether it's size color different model so if maybe there was one that was slightly bigger than the other you could put that all in here the different item uh, part number in this case would be in here and that's what creates the drop down box uh, below the product listing so they can select sizes color shapes all that good stuff in this case it's just one product so we're not going to do that um, tags, if you want to have collections based on tags, you can enter a tag, group all your products together by that tag, and it'll, it'll be easier for you to find them. Um, collections, in this case we are using this uh, because it is a collection of this model saw and all its parts. And what that allowed us to do is embed it in the various sales uh, places of the website. Um, you know, we can have the collection show when that saw appears we can have the collection of all the parts available show up as well and uh, so we're gonna we're gonna place all the parts for this particular saw within a collection under that saw name uh, vendor in this case it would, it would probably be Husqvarna um, or you can use your company name uh, what the product is in this case it's a, a this particular model saw part and you can put that product type in there as well and these are just to organize your products so it's easier for you to find them, group them, and, uh, and put them for like related products um, or per also purchase with that kind of thing. Um, the other thing to pay attention to is these visibilities. So right now we've got a buy button, we've got the store, uh, if we're, we're going to integrate with Facebook there'll be another check mark here. And you want to make sure that all those are checked so that it shows up in all the places that you're trying to sell. All right, and the very last step we're going to do is hit save product. All right, so that was pretty easy. Now we need to add another product. So in the upper right hand corner, there's a button that says duplicate. So we're going to duplicate the product we just added. And what we'll do is we'll go in. That's the one we just added. So I guess there's another one, which we could have probably done this as a variant, but we're doing a demonstration, so it doesn't matter. All right, so in this case, we're going to, this changes from the 520 to the 524. We're going to get rid of that, and we're going to call it Blade Chef Belt for the 524. We're going to duplicate the product, and what you'll see is your title is already there. Okay, so we're going to take that for our description, so we can move this demonstration along. Boom, we're going to get the part number. So 524. We're going to knock that in there. And we're going to knock that in there. And we're going to enter our price. It's the same price here. Yeah, we could have just done this as a variant. All right, so the price is the same, so we don't need to enter into that. No compare at price. We're not barcoding, shipping. We don't. We're going to come back and do that later. Manual. All right, no variants. We need to add the image. And what you'll see is after you've duplicated a couple products, it'll actually give you the option to import this image. So I'll show you that as well. Make sure it's because it's duplicated, it should be in the same uh, category collection. So that's good. It's in our collection. Oh, see, we need to make sure that's checked. And boom, we just added our second product. We'll hit save. 
So you hit duplicate again to add another product and you'll see the option here, duplicate product images. Once you've done a couple of them, it gives you this option. So this image, you won't have to keep reattaching. It'll all already be there. All right, so we've added a couple products. We've shown how to duplicate a product. Um, one of the last things I do after I add products, especially when I'm using collections, is go click the collection. And what that'll do is if you missed anything like on, on any of uh, your buy button or online store or Facebook, if that's not checked, it'll show down here, not added to. And uh, so you can see all the parts we've added to this particular collection. And um, we're ready to roll. And we'll come back and, and, and finish it up for the client later. But as you can see, it's very easy to add. Um, if you've got any questions, you can give me an email at cure at digitalredzone.com. And uh, we can schedule a meeting and I can do a little one-on-one -on -one with you if it's needed. Um, I hope this video helps. And uh, as you can see, it's a really easy system to work with. I uh, hope you have a great day and talk to you soon.